I want to test the RGB on this new Coco 3 board, um, but I don't have an RGB monitor. So what I did was I, I wired in the RGB to HDMI solution, uh, and I'm playing Pac-Man, or I loaded it to see if it works. I don't have any audio now because I didn't wire in the audio, but um, it, you know it seems to work. RGB seems to work. Uh, the RGB to HDMI converter seems to work. I think the color the colors are a little off. How do you start this? I don't remember. AZ. Well, anyhow, um, it seems to be okay. It seems to be working. I'm okay with, you know, how it's coming out. Let me start it up again. It does take a little while to actually, you know, display an image because the Raspberry Pi needs to boot up. But it works. There are sparklies, and I think you know that can be fixed with settings or maybe cutting some capacitors. But I do think that the colors are off. They're not quite there. Uh, other games play. Let's see. And that looks that looks a little. I don't think that looks right. Eh, maybe it does look right. It's not too bad. But I think that color, that's supposed to be blue. Oh, it's not bad. It's, it's okay, you know. Okay. I'll load Megabug. Loading Megabug, it's black and white, but it does simulate artifacting. I'm using RGB, okay, but it will simulate artifacting. If I go to the palette menu and enable artifacting, it comes to life. So that's good, I was surprised. Here I'm playing with the joystick. trying to at least. Joystick works. Yeah, whatever, playing with one hand. So yeah, that is another test of this new Coco 3 board. Um, seems to be working, the RGB connector seems to be working.